Energy Fabricator here, just wanted to show you my new 12 point Starship Road and Coil winding jig. Um, it's made out of 6mm, oh sorry, quarter inch diameter all thread. Um, got some hose sleeved over the outside of those. Um, they actually screw into this plastic ring disc here. Uh, and that disc is bolted with these bolts that you can see everywhere onto a solid piece of acrylic which forms the base so it's a pretty solid unit um, this disc here is merely a support um, for these rods so that the tension of the windings doesn't actually pull the rods in um, as we wind it uh, it also aids in removing the coil um, just by li literally lifting, li levering this up side by side um, it compresses the coil as you pull it out and it just helps to pull it all out evenly um, to get a nice clean coil at the end of the day um, over here is a coil that I made out of um, builder's wire uh, terminal will go out to these lugs here um, and out to this black and red cable. Um, I've also got another wind that sort of weaves I don't know why I did it but I just felt like it um, it sort of weaves up and down through each of the um, segments of the rodent coil um, just using that as a secondary just to see what sort of output I could get out of that compared to other secondaries, external secondaries. Um, so that's one coil uh, here is another coil. Um, I'll actually turn this around because I'll set it up like that. Now you can see here this is where the coil starts and stops, these are the leading wires. Um, I've actually, at the end, at the completion of every full cycle, um, after completing every t 12 points, um, it ends here, obviously, and then it loops around and that the next one is actually wound in the opposite direction. And then when we get to that point, you can see on that side it stops there and loops around and comes back the other way so every full wind is wound oppositely uh, there's seven winds in total here uh, so that's just another wind configuration I've been playing around with and I've also got this one here let me just turn that around uh, this one here has a total of 14 winds. Um, what I've done is I've come in clockwise in one direction, come into the midpoint, um, and then wound it anti-clockwise in, in the other direction. So seven winds clockwise, seven winds anti-clockwise, like a midpoint grounded L2, you know, secondary for a high voltage transformer or something. Um, now something that I have found whilst I've been playing around with these and these Starship rodent coils love a good high frequency pulse DC um, so that's what I've been pumping into them with the function generator and having a look on the oscilloscope at the output of just any old coil that you can get your hands on um, just a very basic experiment that I've done and by pulsing this rodent coil and altering the depth of this coil here within the rodent coil and taking measurements every millimeter from outside the coil on one end all the way through until you get to the outside of the coil on the other end you'll find that with uh, well as long as it's a um, pulsed DC of high frequency at least you know 10 kilohertz to you know 500 kilohertz somewhere in that range um, I have found that no matter what the secondary is made out of you can get any old coil you want 
you will find that the strongest magnetic field, the biggest output that you're going to get from this um, secondary coil here, is when it is located roughly about here. And no matter what I'm doing, um, it's got to be around there, which is pretty much where the base of the um, secondary coil uh, interfaces with the magnetic field from the bottom of the first wind down in that direction. So that's where I'm locating that that hot spot. Um, it's roughly at the you know at the end of the first wind on the positive side. It must be on the positive side. I've tested this in numerous configurations, um, standard coils, the midpoint version, and what I found is on a standard coil without this midpoint ground, if it was just wound in one direction all the way, if we had the positive on the top, then the field would be strongest on the top, um, at the bottom of the first wind on, the, on that side. If the positive was fed in through the bottom, the strongest field would be at the bottom, up one, up one wind. Um, with this particular coil here, if we feed the positive into the center and make these ends the negative, then we find that the strongest point of the magnetic field is exactly in the center of the um, the Starship Roden coil. So, um, you know, I just thought I'd mention that because it might come in handy for people building, um, you know, pulse motors and Bedini circuits and things. So, if you're not already using your um, Starship rodent coil with the positive side of the coil um, facing your magnets or whatever you're using it with, um, try it because I can pretty much almost guarantee that if you do that in conjunction with um, high frequency DC pulsed uh, square wave, then um, you will get an increased output. It's pretty much almost guaranteed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.